Hi, I'm Sarah Babcock, CAA for Jefferson Parish and oversee all the planning for hurricane evacuations. If the parish president issues a mandatory evacuation for a category three or greater storm, pre-storm, we would use sites like the Alario Center and Vineyard Church for the evacuation process. Individuals would arrive at their local transit bus stops, get on a local transit bus, and be brought here to the Alario Center. The first thing that happens is that JPSO and EMS will board the bus, uh, give a list of instructions, and make sure no one's having a medical emergency at the time. The first group to get off the bus is going to be families with pets. They will stop out here behind me at the pet processing area. Here the JPAWS team will um, make sure all pets are on a leash or inside a carrier. They will also make sure that all of the pets have a wristband and are, have all the paperwork filled out to be identified with the pets. If there's a small pet, the people and that small pet will then enter the Alario Center with everyone else. If someone has a large pet, the large pet will stay in the area behind me and get loaded onto a pet specific truck and the family will enter the Alario Center with everyone else. The second group that will be asked to get off the bus will be those with medical needs. That way they can be processed as one group by LDH. After that, the general public and everyone else on the bus will be asked to get off. Here inside the Alario Center, we'll have some EMS and JPHSA staff to address medical and mental health needs. This will also be the last stop to use the restroom. At this station, before people enter the main room, they'll receive a wristband with different colors to identify which type of person they are. They might have a blue wristband if they have pets, they'll have a yellow wristband if they have a medical need, and an orange wristband if they're able to fly at MSY. Everyone else will receive our white general population wristband. Here inside Hall C is where everyone gets put into individual groups and registered for their trip. You can see in the lane behind me, anyone with a yellow wristband indicating that they have a medical need will be processed by LDH in this area. LDH will determine if they qualify for need a medical need shelter and will get will complete their evacuation tickets and then get seated in a bus. If the individual is in the general population, they will follow these white cones through the system and into lines where they will complete evacuation tickets before being seated in, in rows ready for a bus. So here, everyone for the general population will need to fi fill out an evacuation ticket. The evacuation ticket is a quadruplet form meant for all members of one family to be listed on together. They will also list all the pets. If people have more family members than there are spaces, then they'll complete a second form. Staff who are working in this section need to make sure that people are able to read and write and be able to fill the form out on their own, otherwise they'll need to be assisted. We'll need to make sure that the form is legible so that we can read what it says uh, at their destination. In some circumstances, the federal government and the state may have coordinated for planes to be able to fly people out to other states where they can shelter. People who qualify to go to MSY would be single or couple adults with no children. They need to be able to walk upstairs. They need to be willing and able to fly. They need to have a state issued ID and all of their luggage must be able to meet TSA requirements. In that case, people would come here to the back of the building where they would be manifested by DCFS and wait for a bus to the airport. People who dropped off their pets out front already completed their evacuation ticket. When they enter the Alario Center, they'll walk to the back of the building and follow these blue cones where they'll sit in the stands and wait for a bus to arrive. Once the general population has filled out their evacuation tickets, they'll come sit in the seats behind me. There's two sets of 48 seats that represent the number of people that fit on each bus. People will sit in these seats until the manifest team comes to get them as they're ready to board the bus. 
Once DOTD has a bus ready to leave the Alario Center, they'll let the manifesting team know. The manifesting team will take all the evacuation tickets and co put them in envelopes for each of the appropriate agencies. They'll fill out the label on the envelope and the online form so that the manifest information gets funneled back to our emergency operations center. The envelope with the white forms will be handed to the DOTD representative, which gives instructions for the bus driver on where to take that bus. Then everyone will be loaded onto the bus and they'll be off to a shelter. In order to evacuate everyone who needs our assistance within a 24 hour time frame, we are hoping that everyone can go through the Alario Center and get back on a coach bus within 30 minutes of their arrival here at the Alario Center.